So over here, you can see that I have a bunch of video clips on my timeline. So let's say I make some changes to it. I go around and click and drag this, click and drag this, place this over here, maybe resize this and maybe keep this over here. And maybe I go around over here and then um, add in a video transition over here, just like this. I'm just going to go around, drag in the fade to color, add it. So whatever I do is actually being recorded where it is being recorded is in the history section. So to access uh, that section, you can go around over here where it says history over here on the left side, as you can see, and whatever you do is actually being recorded as you can see. So let me just move this and you can see it says move sequence clips right here. Uh, I'm going to go around and resize this out and you can see it says resize clips right here. I'm going to click on this transition and delete it. It says to move transition and so forth right here. So I can actually go around and undo out right here. So I can undo one by one and I can redo one by one right here. Or I can press Ctrl Z right here to undo right here. And then you can see that there's redo for control Y right here. So you can go around and control Y as well. So this is what you have, as you can see, you can go around and undo and redo one step at a time as well. But if you want to go around onto a particular step by using the history panel, you can simply go around and click anywhere right here. And then you go to that exact step without having to undo uh, a number of times. But if I were to go around and make a change over here on this section, you can see it replaces out all of the other um, uh, other actions right there because I made a new change over there just like this. So now if I were to go around back right here, then I can go straight. And if I were to make change right here, everything else will be replaced. But if I were to go around onto, let's say, for example, the latest one right here, now you can see that everything um, gets added in as I make changes over here. And that is how you can utilize the history panel to keep track of all of the tasks that you do inside of HitFilm and to go to a particular step directly without having to press control Z a lot of times in HitFilm. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.